Hi, I'm David King. I work for Scotch Framing, and uh, we're building this 40-foot uh, by 84-foot equipment shed. Uh, what happened, we got some uh, footings around the post, two foot in diameter, three foot deep. Some of them's four foot deep. We had some kind of layer of compacted soil. Couldn't hardly go through it on most of them, so we just stopped at three foot. That's plenty. All right, what happened, though, it started post back, the one they're over there working on. Uh, somehow or another, the concrete truck hit it with a chute or something or another happened. Anyway, it's uh, two inches off at the bottom. It's going to be the a 14 foot door right there. So, uh, you know, we're concerned about we might have problems with the door if we don't get that bottom straightened back out. So, we got one option. That's just dig around it and try to hook a chain around it and drag it. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to dig on it a little bit here and see what happens. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> that chainsaw is in chainsaw it'll, heaven. It'll be like right there. It yeah, probably will. I mean, it ain't gonna be. It's gonna be uh, on this side of the ground. And it's all we gotta do is take that tamping bar and just run it in there like it and prize it out. If you can get the concrete to break, take it wood. It might. Ain't Caesar. Around 30 inches deep. We gotta go down about I know that concrete was at least three feet deep, so we're gonna dig down at least that deep before we can give it a try. Anyway, we're getting there. It's just a little rough when it's uh, 90 degrees and 60 percent humidity. That makes it look right there, Is it? I think so. I'm hitting the bottom of it right there. Where are you hitting there? Keep on digging and see what you find. Yeah, but if that's the edge of the concrete, we still gotta go below it. Uh-uh. Right. Yeah. You need to hook it right there around the inside. Uh-uh. That's how it works. All right. Hey, uh, hey, Clayton. Let me see. We might need to put a string up. Nah, I can probably pretty much tell. Are right, you just lower it down, Claiborne? Low. All right, hold up. I right, put it in part. All right, all right, draw it back just a little bit. Hold up. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Hey, all right, you look at it, fish, from the other end. Well, if you want to, we can. Huh? A little high, because look, the top's got to come back to you. See what I mean? All right, come on. Come on. Pull it a little bit too far, and then we're going to push it back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. All right, right there. All right, let off over the seat to stay. Back off, back pressure off. That's good enough. Yeah. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Up. All right, let off just a little bit. I hope. That's right where I wanted. I wanted a little bit too far. That's perfect. All right. A fraction more. All right, maybe time we release that dirt and it gets pressure back. It's good. I know what we did, we came back just a little further than necessary on the plumbness part. And now we're going to tamp it sturdy and get in, the, get in tight around this hole. 
and uh, hopefully it won't it won't spring back the whole way it should be just about perfect if we if we allow for the right adjustment there see now you want your post just disappear behind the other one see that that's perfectly in line we're back level we kept our distance right on the opening so now we're going to pack the dirt back in got that problem fixed